Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to go over the Blink X-T2 after having it for over eight months. So I'm going to go over how it survived the summer and the crazy heat that we have in Toronto. We have a humidity, sometimes it's uh, over 40 degrees Celsius. And in the winter, when sometimes we have minus 20 uh, degrees Celsius with a lot of snow and rain. So I want to show you some clips, some samples, my recommendations and more. So coming up next. Jungle. All right, so let's get into it. Let's go over to my screen here. All right, so here, you know, if you're looking at purchasing the Blink XT2, my rating, my review would be probably a 9 out of 10. Um, the reason why I give it such a high rating is because simplicity. The reason why I give it a 9 out of 10 is because of simplicity, uh, ease of use, and price. I think I think the main factor was price. I purchased this for, I think, $349 on sale, and that was for five cameras. So if you were to do a whole new security system, buy the DVR, do the cabling, do the setup, um, it would cost you a lot more. I think the cabling just for a regular security network would cost you, you know, over, I think I calculated it was about over $1,500 or more. And, you know, that didn't even, didn't even include other things, you know, miscellaneous things that you have to go out and run and go to, go out and run and get something at Home Depot. And everyone has a wireless network, so, you know, attaching this to your Wi-Fi network, it's just so easy and so simple. But, um, I did make another video, so you could kind of look at that video over here. Uh, there should be a card up on the top left or the bottom right here. But, you have to make sure that you have enough wireless access points to cover the outdoor areas because these cameras they're used mostly outdoors I wouldn't recommend having one indoors because you know just in case someone hacks into your network and you don't want people spying on you but so having your wireless network outside you want to make sure that your access points are close enough or your wireless router is close enough to those locations for example a lot of people Put their access point here if you look at my blink xt2 um, there's an outlet here I don't have one here but I actually have one in my front window so the thing with wireless and RF is wireless you know glass is transparent to the wireless so it's going to carry this signal over so my window is is over here and that helps where my camera is positioned to cover this device right here Let's just go to a live view. So, so that's the live view. And this is the talk button here. And this is one thing that I, I like a lot. So let me just close this. The reason why I, I like the Blink X-T2, there was one time when my kids were coming home and I accidentally locked the door or locked one of the doors and they needed to get in but I wasn't at home, I was about 10 minutes away from home and I saw them outside kind of just you know moving around and I actually ha was able to have a clear communication, a clear talk or discussion with them throughout the whole video just just over on this side here just by pressing on this hold or talk icon right here so you just hold it for a couple of seconds and then you can you can talk so that was really one cool feature um, and then let's get into you know, some of the basics some of the features of this um, like I mentioned I think I've had this for about six to eight months the installation was pretty easy for me to put up four cameras it took me I would say one camera would probably take you about 20 minutes. Just depends if you have all the tools. If you're going into drywall or brick, then you know it might take you a little longer, but it's very easy. You know, if it's going into drywall, that's a lot easier because it comes with uh, anchors, so drywall anchors. And if you need to do it into a uh, a brick wall all you need is like a, a Dremel bit or the proper bit to install it but anyways I, I really recommend it 
for three forty nine. I got five cameras. You pay no monthly fees. That's that's the beauty of it. So that's what I like about it. So when you use the Blink XT two, the main features that you're going to be using is this folder up here. This is kind of where you see your history of what happened. So you know it shows you every activity, every movement. So it has a sensitivity. You can set sensitivity and. Let me just show you here. This is me loading my truck. So let's go over here to this one. So I just recently adjusted the time sensitivity and then the angles of where it's covering. So these are just my kids coming in and I set the length for the front video to record for five seconds because we actually ran into an incident where um, I guess there were some kids looking for open doors around our area and they were trying to see what doors were open in terms of you know what they could steal so they were walking around the neighborhood checking if my truck was open but it wasn't so they just went to the next house but that is one feature that you're going to be looking at a lot is just this part, you know, your clip roll. And then if you scroll down here in the clip roll, you could actually, you could configure the storage capacity. You know, if it exceeded the old, oldest clips will be deleted. You can set it from 30 days, one year, and so on. So another feature that you're going to be using a lot is just this icon over here on the top right of every camera so you can rename each camera and I'll show you how to do that if you just click over here you can name this to front camera and the thing that I like about this it actually gives you a great status of everything it tells you your battery which is okay the temperature and then motion detection so this is what you're going to be using a lot to kind of test your activity zones and your triggers so for example this trigger zone, what it does, if you click on it, this is the time after a motion event during which a camera will not detect motion. Reduced to have a shorter delay between triggers, right? So I leave this, you know, the trigger time about 10 seconds because that'll, you know, every 10 seconds it's going to re-trigger if there's motion. And then sensitivity, it just you have to play around with this because if you get a lot of no notifications, you can turn that down. And for clip length, I like to keep it around 25 seconds. I like to do that in my the areas that are, which I'm kind of looking out for where there's more public access, like someone possibly breaking into your car or snooping around. So the clip length, I like to have it for 25 seconds as soon as there's motion det detection. If it's set to just five seconds, I don't think that's long enough to kind of see what someone is doing out around your home. Now. You can end clip early if motion stops. Um, I like to keep that checked off. And then here they actually have a beta, a new feature. So this new feature is going to be actually coming up pretty soon. So what it does is when activated, receive alerts as soon as motion is, is detected. Tap on alert to join live and, and respond in real time, which is cool. Because when someone, when it detects motion and you see something, you could click on it and you could press the talk button right away. So that, that's pretty cool. So let's let's enable this. Now night vision, I keep it on auto. One thing I do have to admit that the night vision is subpar. I'm going to go over to night vision and kind of show you. And here you can enable microphone, speaker volume, I set the high. Uh, the quality, I if you have the video quality high, it's going to give you a warning watch. It, if I click here, you know, it's going to give you a warning that the recommended vi uh, battery of your XT2 is going to decrease. If you increase it, it's going to give you another warning. So it's going to upload with 3 meg because the, the file is going to be bigger, but it's going to reduce your battery life. And the thing is, with battery life, you don't really have to worry about it so much because it, I think it takes two AA batteries and it lasts a long time and it's very very easy to take on and off right so 
And also, it'll go over here, last updated. Um, gives you the date. You can update it if you want. The great thing about this is when you're troubleshooting this, you can go to each camera and before you install it, put it in the area that you want to install it. And then go into the setting, settings and go into this, this part right here, camera Wi-Fi. As long as your camera Wi-Fi has this signal, you know, four or full bars, you'll be fine. I tested this and I had like, had like one or two bars and it was horrible. We couldn't connect, the motion, the de detection wasn't great enough. So that was one factor. And then also the second most important factor here is the camera to sync module. Because the sync module is like a little, the, the brains of, of the system. And that connects wirelessly to all of your XT, Blink XT2s. And if your camera to sync module doesn't have enough Wi-Fi, your whole system's not gonna work well. So these are the two very important factors before setting everything up. So let's go to, let's click save because we made the change to enable live join. Now, let's go to night vision. I'm gonna show you actually a clip of somebody, you know, I didn't have the duration of the clip on too long, so I'm gonna go over the clip of someone actually trying to get into my truck to see if it was open. And it's right here. So this is what I like. You know, it gives you the date, the time, Tuesday. You can save it. You could download it. I'll show you how to download the, the clip or how to share it. So let's let's check this out. So he just left. Let's just rewind that here. He went to my truck. Now, here was the fault that I made here. So I didn't have my zone set up properly. So there, he just left checking the car. But if we had him, if I had my zone set properly, I would have detected him walk from here. Then the Blink, Blink XT2 would have triggered and started recording. And I'm going to show you that right now here. So if we go to the camera, I'm going to show you how to set up the zones properly or your zones. So you just come over here to activity zones and you just tap on it. Now, everything that is light gray is not going to be detected by the sensor. So that means your Blink X-T2 is not going to start if someone is, walk is around here. And the reason why I have this here set up is because my neighbor likes to do, he shovels and then I see his car coming out here. So when I see his car coming out, there's a lot of trigger and sometimes it gets too annoying. So you can set your, your zones however you want. You just click on it here, click on that one if you want to gray it out. So I actually had these grayed out because when there's a lot of people walking, um, it kind of gets annoying because there's a lot of motion. But to be on the safe side, I would just keep it all unchecked in the in these areas. So, you know what, let's uncheck that. Now, if you wanted more granular, you could actually go to the advanced portion. And underneath the advanced portion, you, you know, it makes the squares a lot smaller. And then you can start graying out or highlighting the things that you don't want or do want, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to actually, I don't need this little square here because that's my neighbors. And then just click on up, update. But that's how you um, use the Blink X-T2. I think the major bells and whistles of the Blink X-T2. Uh, let me see if I can find a... Yeah, so let's go to night vision again. Um, you know, with video and so on, night vision, it just really depends on, you know, lighting, right? So video camera lighting, it really depends on how everything looks. But, you know, for you get what you pay for it. You know, it's not the best, you know, day-night camera. I've seen a lot better, but you, you pay a lot more for a night vision camera. So what I'd recommend, you know, if, you, if you're trying to monitor more of night vision, I would just get Blink X-T2 to cover some of the basis of your areas that you want, and then maybe get a higher-end uh, camera that has better night vision. So let's go into, let's go over here to Tuesday 9 p.m. So there's my neighbor coming out, but it's not bad. 
Right. So now here, if you want to share this, you could actually come over here, click on share. Now this is going to come up and you can airdrop it, you can save the video, you can email it. So just a really great device. Amazon did a really good job with the interface. Can't complain other than the night vision. But like I mentioned, would I recommend it again? Yes, I would. Would I buy another one if these broke? For sure. Because you can save a lot of money on cost. We do have the ring and you know I think that's we pay a monthly fee right so with the Blink XT2 you don't pay any monthly fees and in terms of it lasting in in the winter uh, I'm in Toronto and we, we're right now I think we're about minus 14 and the unit you know it hasn't gone down even in the rain um, it works beautifully like 100% works very very well and like I mentioned that talk feature is really cool where you can have two-way communication right so I can speak to the person outside and they could actually speak to me like when my kids were there I was able to hear them tell them what to do so anyways that's my review didn't want to go too long onto the blink XT2 um, I am gonna have a an Amazon affiliate link if you want to buy it uh, I would appreciate it kind of help support the channel and everything but I will make another video on the type of mount that I have that I bought with it I think I got them fifteen dollars for three but it kinda helps protect that overlayer because it is a electronic device and you know mounts are good because it, it protects it a little bit from the winter so but I've heard from other people people that don't have the mounts it works well in the winter but I like to be on the safe side so again thank you for watching the video please subscribe like and comment below and I'll see you in the next video